All right, hello everybody to this week's cash budget. So we are budgeting my paycheck. So I am a full-time YouTuber and full-time Etsy owner. If you want to know how I pay myself um, bi-weekly, then is it bi-weekly, bi-monthly, twice a month, <laughs> every other week. I don't know how you word it. Um, but if you want to know how I pay myself, I will link a video here up in the corner for you to go and watch to figure out how I came up with these numbers. But let's get into this week's budget. So sorry if you can hear my printer in the background. I do have some orders that are being print off and I know sometimes it can get a little bit loud. I am really, really sorry about that. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, yes, I am still using this weekly planner. I love it so much. I have it linked in my description below. It is off of Etsy and I love it. I cannot stop using it. You guys know I did buy the Budget Mom. I actually still have it in my drawer right underneath there, but I'm just in the habit. This is my second one, as you just seen there. This is my second one, and I just love, I just love it. It's easy to use, and I'm just so used to it that I just keep on using it. So let's get into this week. This week we are cash budgeting. Uh, here we are. We are, no, that's not it. Here we are. We are cash budgeting for October 11th, you guys. So my income for this week, I alternate with me and my husband. That's how we pay ourselves every week. And um, we don't pay any of our bills. I, I know I sound like a broken record for a lot of you that have been watching me for a while. But for those that are new, we do not pay any of our bills with our weekly paychecks. Um, I will link a video here up in the cards as to reasons why we don't do that. Um, and it'll explain everything. So make sure you go and watch that. But we only pay our our stuff our sinking funds from our paycheck so our paychecks um, for the most part are going to be changing in December so my husband is actually retiring December 1st we are so thrilled about that he will be going for his back surgery in January so our budget will change at that time but for now we are just keep on keep on trucking all right, so my income is $610 that we are budgeting, excuse me, and I just want to start by saying we are not going to be cash stuffing these two highlighted because I already bought groceries on my debit card and I also got gas at Costco with my debit card as well. So just wanted to mention that, that there is going to be um, a couple things that are not going to be included with the cash stuffing, but everything else is going to be included. So let's get started. We are starting with our sinking funds. Everybody's sinking funds will look different. This is how ours looked and it seems to be working for us. I actually haven't changed our sinking funds in quite a while. So that's a good sign. It means that everything is working. I haven't missed anything or forgotten a category or anything. So first we are going to do medical and medical is getting $10 for the week. Next is Costco and I am adding $20 five dollars Renault's is getting $40. Beauty is also getting $40 for the week. Birthdays is getting $30. Travel is getting $50. And the reason why travel is so high is because my daughter is coming home at the end of October. And I do want to give her a little bit of gas money. I always do that with my kids. Or if we go and visit our kids, that's what that travel fund or sinking fund is used for. Pets is going to be getting $50. Date night is going to be getting $20. And holidays and support small is going to be getting five holidays are things like uh, Valentine's Day Halloween uh, things of that nature and I just add five dollars usually every week our kids are all grown my youngest is actually 20 um, so our kids are all older and honestly I don't buy a lot of things for holidays anymore but I like to just have it just in case in case I give like our kids something small for like Valentine's Day or, or something like that. Support small is just that if I find something off of Etsy or I want to support a small business. Hunting is getting its regular $60. Anniversary is getting $40. My own envelope is getting $20. Taxes, and this is to get our taxes prepared, is getting $20. Car maintenance is getting $10 and our car registration is getting $20. So that total is $445, which leaves us $165. So down here with our cash envelopes, um, like I said, the groceries and gas is just staying in the bank and I have already used that money anyways, but I will be withdrawing $20 to put in my spending and cash envelope. So I will be taking out that $20, but 
Still want to make sure that the budget balances. So that totals $120 and we have $45 remaining. And that $45 is going to go to savings challenges this week. So as I had mentioned in my one of my last videos, I am not doing a lot of sinking or a lot of saving challenges because my husband is doing... Um, a, si a big big side hustle job that he has been working at since August and we have just been putting all of that money into our tax-free savings account so we have now I'm excited to say we have one no we have wait what is it ten thousand ten thousand eight hundred dollars in that tax-free savings account which I am thrilled about so um he still has a lot of work to do before the end of the year so i am ecstatic about, about that he is such a provider i speak very very highly of him because he is such a hard worker um and especially going into retirement we want to have that little nest egg that you know we have in order to travel and that's what some of my savings challenges were for um if you remember if you've been with me for a while i did have like a ten thousand k challenge and that was to go to um, Germany and then I also had a Las Vegas savings challenge as well as a cruise savings challenge. However, all of that we should be able to save up in our tax-free savings account and that's why I haven't been um, doing those savings challenges and just sticking to these three. So I'm going to be doing the piggy challenge which is $15, the 1000k savings challenge which is $20 and my weekly challenge we were on week 10 and that is $10. So that total is $45, which is a zero based balance this week, you guys. How good is that? All right. Also, what I love about this weekly planner, it gives you the denominations in order to figure out what bills you need to withdraw from the bank. When you go and see the bank teller, you want to know what you are withdrawing and in what denominations of how much. So that's where this comes in. I write down all of my sinking funds and I write down which bills I will need in order to stuff those sinking funds. So, you know, as an example, medical needs $10. So I'm going to be getting one $10 bill. Costco is a 20 and a five. Renos is two 20s and then etc. I figured out all of that on this sheet here and I'm telling you it comes in very very handy. I actually started or my daughter I should say uh, but I've gotten her started on cash budgeting. She really wanted to get into it. I definitely will be sure um, to record her binders. She just has been away dog sitting so she has her binders with her but I do want to upload that and show you how cute they turned out. She's doing such a fabulous job. She looks forward to cash stuffing just as much as I do and she's my saver. She's 20 years old and you know she's very much into saving which I am very very proud of. So this kind of teaches her she's 20 and this even is like very basic for a beginner and I, I'm still a beginner I still call myself a beginner budgeter I just started this year so you know this is still very very helpful for me so I'm going to be using this book I think for a long time and then at the end of it as you can see here the bill quantity I need 250s 1720s etc so I always just double check all of my math to make sure it comes up with the correct amount that I need in order to withdraw from the bank and what all of my numbers have worked out so I tend to do this I was doing this on camera but then my numbers never added up so I think it was just like I needed to concentrate on my numbers in order to get everything right so that is what I do now I tend not to do it too too much on camera but I feel like you know this still gives a great outlook on my week's budget and you know I'm really happy with it I think it's great I really want to concentrate on working with like the lower amount like I had mentioned um, probably between like the four six hundred dollar amount is kind of what I want to focus on because we don't like I said we don't pay bills with this amount this goes towards our sinking funds and the rest of it like even if I do make more um, like I went over in that last video um, I will link it up here but my recent video of everything that I've made off of YouTube because I have another YouTube channel off of here as well as my Etsy income and all of that um, I saved most of that. I did have to buy some products for a launch coming up in November. November 1st, I'm having my next launch and it's going to be a big one. It's going to be very, very big. And I needed to buy some supplies and products for that launch. So I kept a lot of that because I refuse, like we have credit cards, but they are at $0 and I do not 
want to use them for business stuff. I just, I refuse. So, um, or if I do use a credit card, like for points or something, I then will transfer my cash to pay off that credit card right away. You know what I mean? But I really want to concentrate on having a lower amount for our sinking funds because we don't need to go overboard on these sinking funds. We just need to stuff, you know, what we need to stuff, right? So I don't want to be putting like $100 into medical. Like that's unnecessary. We have a savings account. We have a tax-free savings account. You know, we are okay if there is a, an emergency or even with our pets, if we have a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars if one of our dogs breaks a leg or something like that we have a, an emergency fund slash savings account that we can use that for so i'm just kind of concentrating on just putting what we need to put into these categories rather than just going overboard so that is kind of what you will see definitely with the budgets coming up. Um, I will be kind of working with that four to $600 amount and saving all of the rest. Now, everybody is different in their budgeting journey. This is just where we are at, me and my husband. I'm 45, my husband is 55, and this is just where we're at. We are getting like inching our way closer to retirement day by day. And we want to be prepared for that. And we want to travel. That is our goal for retirement is we want to travel. We were both single parents um, for a long time before we got together. And, you know, we have spent a lot of our time being parents. And we want to enjoy each other. We want to travel. And that is why we are saving so much in order to do that and to travel and enjoy our lives, you guys. So I encourage you, you know, to look at your, your budget works look look to see what works for you and your financial situation and go from there you do not you don't even need to do four hundred dollars like whatever you can allow to be cash stuffed into your sinking funds cash stuff it you know my daughter for example like i said she started it she doesn't cash stuff a lot of money into her categories but like she said you know what mom a little bit will add up she's saving for a concert that she's going to in the new year you know ten dollars a week or twenty dollars or whatever adds up so she can you know buy herself a sweater or you know the gas money to get there or things of that nature right so every little bit adds up you guys so let's remember that this is this week's budget and we are going to be cash stuffing it on saturday so please make sure that you tune in on Saturday's video when we cash stuff this my favorite day of the week hopefully you guys will tune in to watch that please make sure you give this video a like make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you have that notification bell on so that you won't miss a video when I upload it to YouTube thanks for watching you guys